Maud's big question in the script is, who am I? Fortune tellers these days look just like you and I, but I think the story that we were trying to tell here is that Maud is playing a role, that Mata Rosa is a persona that she puts on. We know that Maud doesn't like to be herself in public, so we wanted all of the looks that she creates to feel maybe like she was looking at iconic figures from movies or, or pop culture to influence what she looks like. For example, when we're looking at the character of Jane, the secretary, we were inspired by Dana Scully from The X-Files, which has a very, you know, like 90s feel to her, but someone still very relatable in modern context. Jeremy mentions just how red her hair is, and so we liked that her first wig was a bit dramatic and that it might not read with authenticity, that we can tell it's a wig. And then seeing that soften a little bit, she gets a little better at her character creating. Our inspiration for Esmeralda was Anne Margaret from the 60s, girlish. She has a bombshell quality, but has a charm about her. Our final character, she has sort of a Janis Joplin feel to her. She's edgy, natural, local, those are some words that are, are used in the script. I think this show especially, knowing when you read a script, you can see that quick changes are a big part. That's one reason why we, we put Maud in this black tunic, because we knew we'd probably need a quick way for her to disguise a previous look. The function and technicality of the design is, is very important too.